It's week one of the National Football League, where Mexico City will play host to a different kind of football. It's the Lumberjacks and the Golden Eagles under the lights on Monday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us south of the border to the vibrant capital of Mexico City. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Lumberjacks of Buenos Aires and the Mexico City Golden Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night. All sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spot. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. 19 yards right off the bat and a quick first down. I know some guys that love to start the year off with a deep shot downfield, trying to begin things with a home run ball. That might be the more exciting option, but I think that this was the smarter play. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. That opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. They go play action here on first down. Yeah, that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, first the ball free, and it's second down. Brings up second and ten. To throw again, Heron. He finds his man, complete. That's Reyes. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And they're going to 
stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 44-yard line. Looking to throw. Heron. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And 10 yards to go. Back to throw. Heron. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Reyes. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A nice gain of 21 yards. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Golden Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7 nothing game. So that drive goes eight plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it. And this taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Looking to throw. Durant. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. Back to throw. Durant. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Off play action. Durant. A quick throw there he is incomplete. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown. A big play there. 52 yards. And the Lumberjacks are an extra point away from evening this one up. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? The 
Now the try here for the extra point. And ho, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. On first down, Heron. He finds his man complete. It's McGee. Give him 13 yards on the opening. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one, as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's McGee. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll get it across the 45. It'll be second down. So here in the heart of Mexico, this is a city that's hosted a handful of NFL games before, but now this is a different deal. A relocated franchise moving south of the border. There he goes left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That first good for 20 and a first down. What I continue to hear from running backs and offensive linemen is how often they're actually getting together to watch film so they can get in sync with each other, understand blocking patterns better, how a running back likes to cut, what he wants to do. And boy, it all came together on that one. That's one where they watch it and say, hey, we, we did everything we were supposed to do right there. That looked like the play we drew up Absolutely. and designed. And then we got to see it unfold in real time. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is incomplete. Intended for number 30. Incomplete. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Looking to throw. Heron. This one incomplete. Almost picked up by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Well, the Buenos Aires offense back out now. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. Right back to him on first down. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. From the 31, here's second down and eight. As they've got it as we resume action. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. 
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Throwing on first down. Heron. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Weaver. A broken tackle on the run, and then just on the other side of midfield, they get to it. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and three. Off the play fake, Heron. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Up the middle they go. Weldon. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. A third down conversion with a strong gain of 14. They'll run on first down. It's Weaver. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Back to throw. Heron. He finds his man complete. That's Weaver. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. On first and ten, Heron. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Heron. Touchdown! A 15-yard touchdown grab. As these guys are able to extend their lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. That time, a nine play drive. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Here's second and 10. 
And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. To throw on third down, Durant. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to hit the football back again. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again. Heron. And he slings one that's incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Just a 25-yard punt, not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Buenos Aires offense back out now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The offense on third down today. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. Losing four yards that time. And now it's fourth down. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield. And that brings up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. 
Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Weaver down to about the 22 here. 58 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now second and three. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coach were both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. miles away and smiling. And happy. Now first and 10 at the 11. Operating from the gun, Heron. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Just looking at from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. They'll wind up losing three yards there on the play as that'll lead to a second and goal. Operating from the gun, Heron looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw, Heron. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete well the incompletion but now we also have an injured player while the medical staff checks on him we'll step aside in this week one contest and his kick here is good and that will extend their lead here to 17-6 so that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. One final goal for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And he will find his man on the outside. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On first down, Durant. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. So we reach halftime here in our first Monday nighter of the season. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. 
And that's been a back and forth game, all tied in the second quarter. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 71 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Looking to throw. Heron. He finds his man complete. It's McGee. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Off play action. Heron. This is caught. Touchdown! 17 yards out, and the Golden Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is up to 18 now. That time, a six-play drive. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This taken in right around the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground here on first down. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. A gain of 13 yards. And the point is Ari's first down. Back to throw. Durant. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Morrison. 
It'll go down as a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Brings up second and four at their 48-yard line. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Looking to throw, Durant. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Pass the 20! And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Well, hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek and we'll take a break. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Touchdown! From 13 yards out. And the Lumberjacks are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive the sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Now for the point after. And this is off the crossbar, but it manages to hurdle its way over. Pretty fortunate there. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 95 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Up the middle they go. Weldon. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, it's Weaver. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Here is third down and four. It's now third and four. Back to throw, Heron. Complete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And they bring their punter out there now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Well, the Buenos Aires offense back out now. 
Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. First down, Lumberjack. Right back to him on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. Seventh play in the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Mexico City as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. First down, Lumberjacks. Operating from the gun, Durant firing quickly here, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now a toss here, short side. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. And his kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. 
their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs likely on the ground as they begin first and ten they'll start this drive out on the ground and he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39 122 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. Let's close this one out. 16 more on that one and another first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They'll try the left side. Weaver. And he's going to be met at about the 43. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Looking to throw. Heron. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 27 yards there, a first down. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. And they will run on the inside handoff. They find some open field here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw, Durant. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And, then... and he will take this one in for a touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Lumberjacks have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and run it in. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us.
What a start to the season this has been. Back and forth, all tied fourth quarter as the kick is away here. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out is Mexico City now to go on offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Throwing on first down. Heron, and that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Looking to throw. Heron. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a give right side. It's Weaver. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and nine. Back to throw. Heron. And this is going to be intercepted. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. Well, the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to the QB out there. Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Off the play fade. Durant. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he'll be tapping just shy of the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Brings up second and seven. Looking to throw. Heron. He finds his man complete. That's Reyes. Calling a gain of three on the play. And now it's third and four. Brings up third and four. Back to throw. Heron. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. There it is, a staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a bat, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, that is tough on inside linebackers. One false step, and that ball's completed. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Back to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. 
And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pickup there just in front of the two-minute warning. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Weaver. And he is going to lose yardage here. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Back to throw. Pushes past him, and he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Well, this one's had a season's worth of thrills already, and it's still week one. Here's third down now. Flushed out right. And he's across for a touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. He'll look to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. But, partner, that'll do it. Well, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Mexico City, it's a great win here on a Monday night as they'll start the new campaign 1-0. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Buenos Aires, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm